Hello guys, it's Chillmeth Hunter. Today I have the Beyblade Burst Cho Z Muso Base Stadium. Yeah, I have no good way of putting this on camera. Sorry. But I'll just try to open this up and go with individual stuff so you know it's more visible. So we'll just start opening things up and we will go from there. Also, I'm not really gonna show up the stadium much in this video, so if you want the stadium, yeah, sorry. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm never, I've never been too interested in the stadiums for these things. I mainly just want them for the bays, so, yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead. And let's do that. Alright. That is bright. Um, I'll still take a look at the stadium, I just won't be like hooking anything up, so. Alright, so. Here's the actual thing itself. Looks kind of weird, it's like two-sided, I guess, but, yeah, there it is. And here's the clear piece that goes on top of it. Um, it probably just lay like that, I guess I'll lift this up. But, yeah, not too much else besides that. Alright, let's move on to all of the other stuff in here. And all right, let's just go ahead and try and make this as quick and painless as possible. Alright, so, there's the little switch type thing for the stadium, and there's a wire going into this, so one is right spin, one is left spin. So that's how you'd hook it up, and, yeah, pretty cool. I also, want to, I also just don't really want to get the batteries for this thing, because these things do use up some batteries, so, yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, I, I've never actually had an Eclipse Bay before, so I'm really excited about these. That's all taken care of now, so let's try and use it to block out some of the sunlight because it's kind of getting a little much. Um, here's the sticker and instruction sheet and all that kind of whatnot, so yeah. Um, Alright, now I guess we'll start off with Apollos. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to get to Apollos first, and... Yeah, and also inside you get the little clips and this little round thing. Uh, I'm not going to open that part up because you can kind of just see what that is in there. But yeah, so we'll start off with um, Apollos. And 
And I'm not excited about the disc slash driver of this because it's just Mogan. This is Mogan L, by the way. This is a left spin special version of it. So yeah, nothing to really see there. Um, and then the layer, this is definitely one of the big parts of this. Um, one of the two important parts to the set. Um, and this is going to be um, this is left Apollos thing looks really cool um, the teeth in this thing yeah, they're okay seen worse, but I've also seen better, so, yeah, and, like I said, this is a left spin bay. Alright, now, the next one up is a right spin bay, and let's go ahead and get the Mogan driver out, and, by the way, Mogan L, the white one, is a new driver technically, whereas this one here, this is a black Mogan. This is technically the second version of this because the first one was red and released last year. Um, that's the right spin version of that, so yeah. Alright, so lastly, here we have right Artemis, so looks really cool and teeth, eh, they're not the best but, oh well um, this is a right spin bay there is, there, there it is um, so here they both are there is left Apollos and right Artemis now the cool thing about these is they can be completely just mixed around and whatnot. So the layers themselves are definitely the best of this because you're going to take them apart somehow. Uh, let me use this little tool here that it comes with um, to try and see if I can... Okay, yeah, that was pretty easy. So you kind of use that to take out the middle and then these just kind of slide off like that way. And now it's in three parts. And I guess I'll use the core from this one because this is a left spin. That's where you get left from. So I'll use the left core to make left eclipse. And yeah, so this part is just kind of an extra part now, I guess. And this will be our main part to that. And let's also take the part from Artemis here. There we are. And then that's the core for the right spin part. And then it's the extra part. So, that said, now we can make... Actually, maybe it's not. Maybe I mix these I think I mixed these up. Um, well, one of these is the proper one. Um, let me figure this out, because I'm actually not entirely sure which is supposed to be which. I think this is it. Um, actually, I don't know. I am not sure um, which side. Okay, no, no, I got it, I got it. 
So that took longer than it needed to. Um, but this must be the way it goes then. All right. And then put the left core in here and snap that into place, I think, somehow. Somehow it does that. We'll figure it out. Aha. So here it is. This is left eclipse. Um, I guess I'll put the driver on as well. Why not? This thing looks really cool, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so, yeah, this is definitely one of the coolest Chosy bay around, Bays around, because you can kind of merge them, and I think on their own they look cool. Um, I do recommend getting your own disc, possibly frame, and then driver combo, though, because these are kind of not the best. So, yeah, um, anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thanks for watching, and bye-bye.